Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. At the age of just 10, Dr. Ruth had to leave her home, becoming a refugee and forever losing contact with her parents and grandparents. This devastating separation left her utterly alone and had a profound impact on her. But loneliness wasn't a stranger to her afterward either. Later in life, she found herself severely injured in a bomb explosion, bedridden and believing that she might not survive. The physical pain was accompanied by a crushing sense of isolation. Yet instead of letting these experiences overwhelm her, she used them to deepen her understanding of connection, belonging and how to help others escape the trap of loneliness. Loneliness isn't simply about the lack of people around you, but about the absence of meaningful, supportive connections. You can be surrounded by others and still feel unseen. This emotional disconnection can take a serious toll on both mental and physical health. But loneliness can be dealt with and, with effort, overcome. In this summary, you'll discover how to break through loneliness using practical, direct methods from Dr. Ruth's menu for connections. By applying these strategies, you'll discover that loneliness, while challenging, is something you can put behind you. So why not take the next step and explore these ideas to foster deeper, more meaningful relationships? Chapter 1. First, take care of yourself. Have you ever wondered why, even when surrounded by people, you still feel lonely? Loneliness isn't simply about being alone, it's about the absence of meaningful connections. Many people feel this way, moving through life without true companionship. The good news is that loneliness can be addressed, and the first step is to understand yourself better. While loneliness is a common issue, real change begins within. Pay close attention to your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. Recognizing what's keeping you disconnected from others allows you to take meaningful action toward building stronger relationships. Start by confronting your feelings head-on. One effective method is to stand in front of a mirror and say it out loud. I feel lonely. Admitting this truth, though uncomfortable, brings the issue into the open. Facing it directly is the first step toward making the changes you need to connect more deeply with others. Self-acceptance is key to forming lasting connections. You can't expect others to offer the love and understanding you need if you don't give it to yourself first. Embrace your strengths and acknowledge your challenges, whether physical or emotional. Self-acceptance forms the foundation for healthy relationships. If this feels difficult, consider seeking professional support to guide you. Take a closer look at your daily habits. It's easy to fall into routines that reinforce isolation, like spending every night watching television alone. These habits may provide temporary comfort but don't foster true connection. Replace passive activities with ones that involve other people. Invite a friend over or attend a local event. These small changes can create opportunities to build relationships. Consider how your appearance might affect your interactions. While looks aren't everything, they do influence how approachable you seem. If you appear withdrawn or unkempt, it may send signals that you're closed off. Pay attention to your grooming and clothing choices. Wear things that make you feel comfortable and confident. Brightening up your look can lift your mood and make it easier for others to engage with you. Taking social risks is another essential part of forming new connections. If you're naturally shy or introverted, stepping into social situations can feel daunting. But growth happens when you push beyond that discomfort. Even small efforts, like starting a conversation or attending a social event, help build confidence and lead to deeper relationships. When things don't go as planned, remember, stay flexible. Life's challenges can feel discouraging, but often they present opportunities in disguise. Stay open to trying new approaches when you encounter setbacks. Maintaining a positive outlook and being adaptable will help you find new ways to connect, even in difficult situations. 
Finally, think about the environments you choose for socializing. Look for settings that encourage interactions, such as small gatherings or intimate spaces like bed and breakfasts, rather than large impersonal venues. These environments make it easier to meet and engage with others, even while traveling. By reflecting on your emotions, accepting yourself, adjusting your habits, and embracing social risks, you'll form deeper connections and find more fulfillment in relationships. Chapter 2 – Restoring and Maintaining Family Connections Family offers a sense of belonging and emotional support, helping to ease loneliness and provide security and connection. When your family ties are intact, they shield you from feeling completely alone. But the absence of family, whether due to loss, estrangement, or distance, can leave you feeling isolated. Even when these relationships are broken or strained, there are ways to reconnect and combat loneliness. Your experience of loneliness depends largely on your mindset. How you perceive your circumstances can affect your emotional state. Positive thinking helps open up possibilities for mending relationships, even when that seems impossible. Optimism, like the decision to smile during tough times, can foster hope and restore connections. As a child, Dr. Ruth was separated from her family during the Holocaust, sent away on the kinder transport. She remembers watching her father being taken away by the Nazis. Even in that heartbreaking moment, her father looked up at her and smiled. When Dr. Ruth was later sent to Switzerland, she forced herself to smile at her mother and grandmother from the train, hiding her fear to offer them hope. This small act of optimism, in the face of overwhelming fear and separation, helped her survive and maintain resilience. Attending family events, no matter how uncomfortable, is essential for maintaining bonds. Avoiding such events can lead to further isolation, as invitations may eventually stop. Similarly, being a good listener deepens your relationships. By focusing on what others say without judgment or the need to offer constant advice, trust and closeness grow. Empathy also plays a role in reducing loneliness. Appointing an ambassador to loneliness within your family, or someone you can confide in, creates a space for support. Don't wait for family members to guess that you're feeling isolated. Take the initiative to share your feelings. Finally, if biological family ties are absent, nurture your close friendships into your chosen family, offering the same connection and support that a traditional family can provide. Chapter 3 – Nurturing Friendships and Romance with Care and Attention Do you ever think about how a chance encounter could turn into a lasting friendship, or even a romantic relationship? The key is to approach your social life with purpose, treating it like a garden that needs care and attention. Meet different people, explore new connections, and nurture those that seem promising. Don't wait passively for friendships or romance to find you. Make the effort to build and expand your social circle. There are many types of friendship, and no one kind is more valuable than the others. Rather than fixating on finding one best friend, allow yourself to appreciate the variety of connections different people offer. Friends can be male or female, new or old, close or casual. What matters is the energy they bring into your life. Choose to spend your time with those who uplift and support you. Gradually grow your circle of positive influences. Building meaningful connections requires not just time, but shared experiences. It's not enough to simply be around people. You need to engage in activities together and open up through real conversations. Honest communication is essential for deepening any relationship. Share your life openly, and you'll find others are willing to do the same. This helps create a stronger bond. In romantic relationships, maintaining physical closeness is important even as time changes the nature of intimacy. Find ways to stay connected through touch and shared moments, as this helps keep the relationship strong and prevents feelings of isolation. If challenges arise, seek solutions that help both partners remain engaged and fulfilled. Finally, embrace social opportunities whenever they come your way. 
say yes more often, be open to meeting new people, and don't limit yourself to the usual types of friendships. Expanding your circle beyond your comfort zone can lead to unexpectedly rich relationships that add new dimensions to your life. Chapter 4, Finding Belonging Through Engagement with Your Community When Dr. Ruth first moved to New York City, she found herself in a vastly different environment from the communal life she'd known. She realized that to feel connected, she needed to make the city feel smaller by actively seeking out meaningful connections through neighborhood groups and local organizations. This approach led her to become deeply involved in the YM and the YWHA, where she made lasting friendships and a strong connection to her community. This reflects a larger truth. Building a sense of belonging starts by actively engaging with the people and communities around you. This is the third portion of the menu of connections. All around you, there are various communities where you can find connection. Network communities like those of colleagues or professional networks, school alumni associations, religious or spiritual groups, hobby-based communities, support groups, and neighborhood centers. Recognize these overlooked opportunities and participate in them regularly. If you feel anxious about joining new groups, choose activities that genuinely interest you. Doing so will help you ease your nerves, as enthusiasm for the activity will make you feel more comfortable. Sometimes it helps to feign needs as a way to create connection. Asking a neighbor for a small favor, like borrowing an egg or a tool, can help open the door to deeper connections. Offering help or being open to receiving it also strengthens bonds within your local community. If you're looking for a more structured way to find connection, joining a group can be an excellent option, particularly when you're going through a difficult time. It's important, though, to ensure the group is professionally led, as this will guide conversations in a positive, constructive way. Beyond face-to-face -face interactions, exploring the connections available to you in your immediate environment fosters a sense of belonging. Whether through helping neighbors, engaging in community activities, or simply being open to new interactions, you'll find that building meaningful relationships is about the quality of the connections you nurture. It's not about the number of people you meet, but about how deeply you engage with those around you. Chapter 5, Balancing Technology with Real-World Relationships Technology, the final part of the menu of connections, is a vital part of modern life. But it's important to think about how it affects your relationships. While tools like smartphones and social media are useful, they should complement in-person interactions rather than take their place. Just because you're online doesn't mean you're building meaningful connections. Using technology wisely can ensure that it strengthens rather than weakens your real-world relationships. It can also act as a helpful tool for forging new connections. For instance, in social settings, a phone can be an easy way to engage with others, like offering to take a photo for a group. Apps designed to bring people together, such as Meetup, are great for discovering those who share your interests. Still, be mindful of relying too much on texts and other casual communication, as these might prevent deeper connections from forming. Take time when you talk to people. Spending at least seven minutes in conversation allows enough time for shared interests to emerge, even if it feels a bit awkward at first. These interactions often blossom into stronger, more meaningful relationships when given enough time. Using technology with care in your relationships can also make a difference. While jotting down personal details about your friends shows that you care, make sure you don't let texting replace more personal contact. A phone call can offer a more genuine connection, as it brings tone and emotion into the conversation that simple text messages often lack. It's also wise to be careful about whom you invest time in. Prioritize those who uplift and support you, while setting limits with people who leave you feeling drained. Balancing online interactions with face-to-face -face encounters ensures technology stays in its proper place and doesn't overshadow your personal life. Finally, regularly assess how much time you spend on your devices. This awareness helps keep your digital habits in check, allowing you to nurture more fulfilling in-person relationships. 
Chapter 6, Monthly Tips for Fostering Meaningful Connections Every month of the year provides a chance to strengthen your connections and overcome loneliness. Whether it's through community events, thoughtful gestures, or self-reflection, there's always an opportunity to reach out and deepen ties with others. Here's a guide to each month to help you build relationships and make meaningful connections. In January, focus on setting achievable goals to develop your social circle, allowing room for mistakes and fresh starts. In February, if Valentine's Day feels difficult, plan time with a friend or offer to babysit for a single parent, taking the pressure off romance. March 1st is World Compliment Day, a perfect time to spread positivity by giving compliments. April's Earth Day is an invitation to connect with nature, which can bring peace and reduce feelings of loneliness. Mother's Day in May can be tough for those missing their mothers. Reflect on good memories or talk to someone who will listen. June's Father's Day is an opportunity to feel close to your dad by making a dish that reminds you of him. In July, celebrate the 4th by participating in local events or inviting a neighbor over, particularly those whose family members served in the military. National Friendship Day in August encourages you to reach out to friends with a call or message, showing appreciation. September is a chance to connect on National Grandparents' Day either with your grandparents or by becoming a mentor or surrogate grandparent to a child in your community. October's Halloween is a chance to engage with neighbors by dressing up and joining in the fun. November's Thanksgiving can feel isolating, so consider being honest about your needs and finding a way to celebrate the day with others. Finally, in December, embrace the spirit of light in the darkness. The holidays can be hard, but don't let loneliness overwhelm you. Seek out connections, big or small, and remind yourself that brighter times are ahead. Reach out, share moments with others, and hold on to hope. The main takeaway of this summary to the joy of connections by Dr. Ruth K. Westheimer is that overcoming loneliness and fostering meaningful relationships start from within. Final Summary Self-awareness, self-acceptance, and actively nurturing connections with family, friends, and community are essential. Practical steps like changing habits, embracing social risks, and using technology wisely can help deepen relationships. Building a fulfilling social life requires effort, vulnerability, and intention. But by following Dr. Root's menu for connection, you can create more meaningful and supportive relationships, ultimately reducing isolation and enhancing your well-being. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.